we have seen the worst oil demand collapse in modern history as a result of COVID. So to get out of this rut, the solution is simple. It's, it's vaccines. Uh, as with so, so much else of the economy, normalization will require widespread vaccination for you know, literally billions of people around the world. And the pace of that process will determine how quickly demand recovers, particularly in relation to aviation and long distance travel more, more broadly. Now, will demand get back to pre-COVID levels by the end of 21? Highly unlikely. I think that's a 22 story. Uh, but it should get pretty close, maybe within you know one or two percent of where we were pre-COVID as we exit 21. Uh, now, keep in mind, supply, the other side of the equation that you referenced, th this is also important to keep in mind. So we know that U.S. shale is declining. We know that OPEC continues to be pretty disciplined. So this is this is bullish. But ultimately, the only way to get back to kind of that 60 plus dollar a barrel price level will be if uh, we get successful vaccination for billions and bi billions of people, you know, into the second half of next year. It's interesting to hear you say that demand may not recover in 2021, but it may re re may recover recover to pre-pandemic levels in 2022. I mean, we, we've seen a number of forecasts published, uh, BP Total are two examples, that have highlighted scenarios in which global oil demand may have peaked in 2019. I mean, if there's one other thing that 2020 was, it was the, uh, I guess, the, the mass realization or mass um, adoption, at least from a market standpoint, of EVs and uh, alternative energy sources. Have we seen the peak? Is it possible we've seen the peak for oil demand? Doubt it. Uh, the, you know, the short answer is peak demand will come. It, it's a matter of time, but it's not in the rear view mirror. More likely than not, uh, second half of this decade, maybe around 2030, is when the peak will come. Though so keep in mind, you know, Chinese oil demand is already higher than it was a year ago. Uh, and of course, China was the first country to get out of the pandemic. So as long as the rest of the world follows that general trajectory, we should see uh, demand you know, surpassing pre-COVID levels sometime in, in 22. Now, electric vehicles at the moment are irrelevant for global oil demand. They're a rounding error. You're right about the realization, but realization is, is not the same as substance, right? Hmm. The substance of electric vehicle displacement of oil demand is not going to be needle moving until 2025 at the earliest. By the way, energy transition broadly, it's not just EVs, it's solar, wind, hydrogen, batteries. You know, this was an amazing year for, for, for clean tech, for renewable energy stocks, up 200% year to date, you know, at a time when oil, oil is down, you know, by half. So the, the sentiment around all of these uh, themes is, is extremely powerful, but that is not the same thing as saying that electric vehicles are going to kill the oil market tomorrow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.